Hello, welcome to Ask a Mortician. If you're new here, this is a show where you ask a mortician questions about the dead body. This week's question is a little more personal. Caitlin, your skin looks so soft and young. What is your secret to that supple, buttery flesh? That's a great question. Many folks don't know that I'm actually 283 years old. My secret? It's simple. My moisturizer is from a centuries-old corpse that has been immersed in a moist anaerobic environment favorable to the formation of a soap-like wax. The only side effect of this beauty hack is that my skin flakes off and I smell like a rank corpsey cheese. But what's good for the corpse is good for the Caitlin, am I right? Corpse Wax has preserved me, and it can preserve you, too. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Corpse Wax. Coupon code in the description. In 1786, I'm just gonna keep wearing this robe. In 1786, the Holy Innocents Cemetery in Paris was being closed and relocated to what would eventually become the Paris Catacombs. As the bodies were exhumed from the wet earth of the former cemetery, workers noticed that the children's corpses were covered in this grayish, waxy substance. Scientific reports about the cemetery named the substance for the first time adipo, fat, and cere, or wax, adiposere. Adiposere is a yellowish, off-white, cottage cheese-like substance that at first smells like ammonia and then mellows into that sweet, cheesy odor. As the adipocere ages, it hardens, preserving the body. A similar discovery was made in 1875 in Philadelphia. Improvements to the city required bodies in a cemetery to be exhumed, and what they found were the now famous soap mummies. Water had leaked into the caskets, and the fats in the bodies had transformed into soapy, flaky adipocere, preserving them against decay. Is an adipocere corpse a mummy? Well, sort of. The process does preserve and deplete a corpse of moisture, much like a traditional desiccated mummy, but saponification, this creation of soap, is a transformation of the fat and tissues of a corpse chemically on the molecular level. The basic recipe, though this isn't always the case, is a warm environment, a wet environment, an environment that is anaerobic or devoid of oxygen, and the presence of bacterial enzymes. Perhaps the most famous of these saponified corpses was a headless corpse found floating in a lake in Switzerland in 1996. Initially thought to be a dead sheep, upon closer inspection it was in fact the torso and partially intact limbs of a human. The soft tissue of the body was coated in a hard as cement white and blue adipocere. After some investigation, it was determined that the body, a man, had drowned in the lake in the 1700s, his body sinking to the bottom of the lake where it was covered in sediment. In that environment, his fats converted to adipocere. The cheeks, eye sockets, butt, abdomen, and chest are the areas most likely to be saponified due to fat content. And because women and children tend to have higher fat deposits in their body, they are also more likely to form adipocere than men. Though obviously, like with the guy in the lake in Switzerland, almost anybody can be saponified under the right conditions. Good news. Lucky you. A bog or underwater environment is a good place to form adipocere, but in the right soil conditions, with the presence of moisture and lack of oxygen, a corpse can saponify with or without a casket or coffin, hence those Philadelphia soap mummies. You know what, hold on, I'm gonna pause this. I'm just starving. Do you mind if I grab a snack? Mmm, cottage cheese. Mm. What? Sometimes a thick, black, clay-like substance will cover adipocere. The black layer forms when the adipocere is exposed to alternating aerobic and anaerobic environments, so oxygen, no oxygen. So the adipocere degrades and the fatty acids spontaneously oxidize. Time-wise, saponification can happen as soon as a matter of weeks. Once saponified, though, a corpse can be preserved for decades, hundreds, even thousands of years, as seen in the 5,300-year-old Utzi the Iceman, who was found in the mountains between Austria and Italy in 1991. 
To be clear, this isn't only a thing that happens with these ancient bodies. Corpse wax is a problem, like, right now, currently. German cemeteries in 2008 were burying bodies in soil with a high clay content, which was producing saponified corpses. Once adipocere forms in a corpse, it can build up in the surrounding soil, making it impossible for other corpses to decompose for anywhere from 20 to 40 years. This might not sound like a big deal, but in places like Germany, graves are often recycled and turned over every 15 to 25 years. So when a grave was opened in order to recycle it, instead of decomposed remains, they were met with a nearly intact soap mummy. In order to solve the problem, Germany turned to burial chambers and undertook an expensive soil reconditioning project. And that, my dears, is saponification, corpse wax, grave wax, adipocere, my beauty secrets revealed. Wait until next time when I tell you how I keep my hair so healthy. This video was made with generous donations from death enthusiasts just like you. I was joking about the coupon code for the corpse wax, uh, but I actually do have a deal for you. Have you ever wanted to read either of my books, but they're too expensive and those asshole libraries have a wait list? Kidding, I love libraries. Everyone does, that's why it's a joke. This week, two things are happening. That's four things, two things are happening. One, we start with a warm, wet environment. No, that's saponification, sorry. Number one, this week, the ebook version of Smoke Gets In Your Eyes is only $2.99 for one week. That means you can finally spam your friends with it, like Summer Santa Claus. Send it as a gift or read it yourself, $2.99. You can't afford not to face your own mortality. Number two, if you're more of a physical book type, From Here to Eternity is coming out in paperback. You can pre-order it as of today. It has a new cover and new material at the end. You may recognize From Here to Eternity as being an iconic Jeopardy daily double question. If you didn't know the answer, that's, that's okay. You know the answer. No, these aren't for the UK yet. Things take a little longer for the UK. Sorry. Okay, yum yum. This kind of cheese is really good. I should really have a snack in the middle of filming videos. I feel like there's a pep in my step.